what we can do differently is that we can be approachable and personal with our clients, especially because we're going into their private homes, their, you know, into their privacy. And so we want to make them feel like they're valued, cared for, and just important. So I think that for me, one of the things I started doing was doing handwritten notes. I know it's an old school thing. You know, there's so many websites that you can just pay 50 to a dollar for a little nice printed note with, you know, saying thank you and whatever your message is. But I don't think that it does the old school trick justice. I think it, it's a cop out. <laughs> I mean, it, I've done it before. Don't, don't get me wrong. But I think that it, it's very important to show that you're taking the time to tell your clients that you value them and taking, you know, a minute or two minutes to just sit down and write these notes um, are very meaningful for the client um, because they don't expect it, but it, you know, they don't expect it at all, but it shows that you care. And so, and it, it's, you know, it costs maybe, I think I do Vistaprint and I buy like a hundred uh, thank you cards um, with our logo on it. And it probably is $25 maybe if that, um, I can't remember the cost because I buy so many in bulk and I just keep them and it lasts you know, I still have probably another 250 cards left and, you know, I probably have bought them since um, late last year. So, again, very, very, very simple thing to do, affordable, and it just shows that you are taking time to think about them and it goes a long way. And so I think the other thing that works is that you need to be present in your client's um, home, you know, do quality control checks if you know you're small enough obviously if you have a bigger operation you have staff to do that but it never hurts to stop by and, and check in on your staff while they're working but also um, checking in on a client because I think that especially if you're a bigger organization they'll notice that even more uh, small organizations they they like it they appreciate it but they you know it's not as big of a deal but I think that it still shows that you are there for them and the other thing is that I love doing is when I do quality control checks and, you know, I'm talking to my staff and making sure that they're following our training and our procedures, I love going in and just talking um, to the client, but also paying attention to their pets. A lot of my clients have dogs, and it's one of the things I noticed. I'm a dog person, and I have a dog myself, so uh, I value when people take time to ask me questions about my dog or play with my dog or, you know, uh, just acknowledge, right, that there's a dog in the home. So um, a lot of times I've stopped by and done quality control checks and I play with their, my client's dog. I usually carry like a little bag of uh, dog bone treats that I buy at Costco or Sam's. It, you know, obviously I ask um, the homeowner if I can leave it with them. Uh, if not, I just uh, leave it in a plastic Ziploc bag and just write a little note saying, hey, stop by, uh, sorry to miss you, but I brought, uh, let's in this case, let's say Bear, I brought Bear a dog treat, wasn't sure if it was okay to give it to him, so, you know, if it's okay, you can give it to them when you get home, or whatever. Uh, so it's just the small details. I mean, it's so important to remember small details. <laughs>